We are a program partnered with Friday Night Flag Boise, where we provide flag football for kids with and without special needs playing together. Gabe Marino is the founder of Game Changers Idaho. It gives kids with special needs from elementary school through high school the chance to play flag football right here in the Treasure Valley. And tonight you're going to meet one of those amazing athletes and find out why he's inspiring everyone on the field. Here's Maggie O'Mara. <music> Friday nights are my favorite nights, and you can ask any volunteer, parent, and it's the same thing for them. For Coach Gabe Moreno, starting Game Changers Idaho was just that, a game changer for so many local kids with special needs. These kids, they, um, they want to play, play sports, um, and there isn't very many opportunities out, out there for them, so we saw a little gap, and we wanted to take advantage of it. This fall, a new player joined the Flag Football League, 11 year old Josh Rader. Josh is blind, one of our blind athletes. And he wanted to play football, so his parents signed him up. We just wanted to expose Josh to as many things as we can. And um, the child has this natural arm. <laughs> he has been throwing things since he's been a toddler. Anything he could pick up in his hand, he would throw. There you go. And so it's one of his favorite pastimes. So we just thought, why not? Why not try it? Game Changers Idaho was ready for the challenge. In our program, he's our first blind athlete. And uh, when I first found out he was blind, I was like, all right, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, oh shoot. It was, okay, how do we, how do we make this adaptable? Gabe figured out a way to make the game work for Josh. His secret weapon is 14 year old Dylan Smith. If he wants to play football, he can play football. Dylan is Josh's volunteer mentor. Every kid who needs one gets one. I asked Dylan, hey, can you take care of this? And uh, can, you, can you help Josh? And instantly, without hesitation, Dylan came in and I stood back and watched those two work together throughout the season and it has been wonderful. Well, I just enjoy the fact that I can give kids an opportunity that they won't usually get. Do you like to run the football? Yeah. So, how does it work? Pretty much, if, he, if he's gonna throw the ball, he's, he does everything, I just kind of point him where, like in the right direction, he just throws it. It's pretty much mostly him. I just kind of help him. Yeah, he took right to it. He says, give me the ball, let me throw it. Josh's dream was to throw a touchdown pass. And this past season, it happened. It was our very last game. Josh went ahead and threw it, and one of our kids caught it and went and scored. Oh, man. I was excited. I was just like, <laughs> uh, parents were excited when they saw him throwing the ball. They were like, wow, he's, he's just like any other kid, because he is a, like every other kid. Oh, we just need to provide him an opportunity to play flag football to showcase his ability, not his disability. Josh's parents were filled with joy for their son. They took it to a whole new level in our home. Yeah. I mean, all we kept hearing about was, can I throw a touchdown? Can I throw a touchdown? And um, he just, it just lit him up like nothing else. Josh, you get tired? No. You know, kids are just naturally limited in society that have special needs but not on that field. And I mean, families have fun, the kids have fun, the mentors have fun. It's just fun all around. You know, it's just an incredible experience. And Josh is inspiring people all along the way, especially Dylan. He's always smiling and then like when he throws touchdowns, like every every time he throws, he's like, did I score a touchdown? It's just really happy, he's just really happy and fun. So he just shows me that if I want to do something, if I work hard and like pursue it, I can do it. Josh Rader and Game Changers Idaho. These kids have a blast doing this. <laughs> Seven's heroes. Oh, that's awesome. We also want to mention that Josh isn't the only kid in his family that plays flag football. His little sister Katie also plays and she just happens to have Down syndrome and she loves it too.